Braylon Allen, running back for Wisconsin, has declared for the NFL draft. We're going to take a look at his stats, take a look at his college profile, do a brief overview as we're going to deep dive this a lot more throughout draft season as we do every single year. But I figured I'd do a quick overview of Braylon Allen, and you guys can drop your opinions in the comments below. That way we got a good head start on some of these prospects. But make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Tap it with your finger on your phone, the mouse on your computer, because we're deep diving the 2024 NFL Draft to help you for Dynasty Fantasy Football, Davy Fantasy Football. I'm here to help you set your waiver wires every week. I'm here to help you set your lineups. I'm here for your research for all forms of fantasy. Hit that button. Stop missing out. But let's look into Braylon Allen. Very interesting draft prospect. And already from doing mock drafts on this channel, there's some people that love him. There's some people that hate him. But he's a very young running back prospect, just 19 years old. He's going to be a 20-year-old rookie running back throughout his entire first season in the NFL. A very, very young player here. 3,500 rushing yards in three seasons. He was very productive. He's a big 245-pound running back. At least that's what he's listed at. We'll see where he's at at the combine. But looking at him, this is a running back prospect that's very fascinating because we got some size. We got a little bit of straight line speed. Nothing extreme there on the 40-yard dash department. But you do see it a little bit there at Wisconsin. You do see the size. You do see the production there. A running back here that we're very interested in because off the rip as a freshman rushed for 1,200 yards and 12 touchdowns. Came back the next season in 2022. 1,200 yards again, 11 touchdowns. 2023, he was dealing with an ankle injury a lot of the season. 984 yards, 12 touchdowns, 5.4 Yards per carry was used a little bit more in the passing game. Saw 30 targets in 2023. Was an increase. Running backs at Wisconsin tend to not get targeted in a passing game. We've seen that with Jonathan Taylor. We've seen that with Melvin Gordon. It's just the historical feat that we see here. 18 targets in 2022. 12 in 2021. 7.3 yards after the catch per reception this year. 7.0 on his career. Ran 179 routes this season, most on his career. So he is used in the passing game, but he's not used to a heavy degree. He can not catch it a little bit, but his receiving stats isn't top tier. But good enough to get the job done in the right situation. Looking at his freshman game log here, his first 100-yard game came against Illinois on the road. And then we just went ham after that. 100 yards against Army, 140 against Purdue, 104 against Iowa. 129 against Rutgers, 173 against Northwestern, 228 against Nebraska, then 47 against Minnesota. We finished the season and the bowl game against Arizona State with 159 yards and just finished out strong. Then we roll in the sophomore season here off the rip. Gimme game against Illinois State, 148 yards. Then a few weeks later against Ohio State on the road, 165 yards and a touchdown. Then two weeks after that, or two games after that, Northwestern, 135 yards. And then we go on a little tear here. Michigan State, 123 yards. Purdue, 113. Maryland, 119. Oklahoma State in a bowl game here, 116 yards in that contest and a touchdown. So that was the sophomore season. Right before this season, everybody was hyped about him. Then we get into his junior season. Not too bad. We start off with 141 yards against Buffalo. Two games after that, we did get 94 against Georgia Southern. 94 is just six off from 100. 116 against Purdue. 101 against Rutgers. 145 against Illinois. And then 165 against Minnesota and two touchdowns. That caps his career at Minnesota. And then looking at the injury history from the season, it was an ankle. It lingered. He played with it a little bit. Slowed him down. Something to think about. But look at the tape. Look at his younger days, too. It's not like he was degressing that much. A lot of people don't like him. I, a lot of people are over the moon on him, too. A lot of people are acting like he's a top-tier running back. I'm right in the middle here. I see him for what he is. I think he can be good in the right situation. I can really see him being an in-between-the-tackles grinder with a little bit of upside, which could make him very fantasy-relevant. If he goes to the right team, and I really think draft capital-wise, 
Second round on the high, third round-ish. I don't think this is a very strong running back class. Should be one of the top running backs drafted. We should not see a running back drafted in the first round of this year's class. This is not the type of running back class for that. But we might accidentally, like a Clyde edwards Hilaire style. But still, I think he's a good running back, but not one of those that you're salivating over like a B. John Robinson or a Jameer Gibbs, even though there's some people on Twitter that's doing that. And then there's some people on the opposite end that are saying, hey, he's falling in my rankings. He's falling here. He's falling there. I don't like him due to what they saw this season. And you know what? I look at his freshman season. I see what I saw during his sophomore season. I saw the production. I see the size. And I can really see where he can be productive at the NFL level. And I can understand where he could fall on his face or just be mid at the NFL level too. I want to see more out of him. And obviously, we're going to deep dive him every single day of the offseason. Come back here on camera and talk about him. And I'm going to raise him up the rankings, drop him in the rankings as I do the running back videos every single day on this channel that's why you need to hit that subscribe button because it's like a draft diary over here because whatever i find on these players i come running here and i tell you guys but again i think he's a good prospect a good guy to look at i don't think he's top tier i don't think he should be held to this high of a standard or this low of a standard as other people are doing but i think he's a good prospect to look at i think he does have some juice to his game and braylon allen is a player you want to pay attention to during the draft season let me know what you think in the comments below i want to hear about it make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out i want to thank you for watching catch you on the next video